Simply Ming is made possible with support from Contessa, Allclad, Brightling, and Ocean Spray. Hey, Ming Tsai here. Welcome to one of my Simply Ming favorites. Check me out right now and look at this interesting ingredient. Russ, what kind of mushrooms are actually around here? What do, you, what do you find? Well, this particular habitat, a place I've visited before, I've often seen what's called a sweet tooth or a hedgehog mushroom, and it likes a damp, damp hemlock woods. Excellent. All right, well, let's look. And they're all sizes, right? They're big ones, little ones. The, these are rather, oh, well, there Is we go. One? Yeah, these are pretty durable mushrooms. It's so huge mushroom. Yeah, it's, it's like the size of a portobello. This this one is probably several weeks old, and this is the important thing to look for. These are the teeth and the underside of the mushroom. It's a very distinctive characteristic. And, and that's you, all edible. Yeah, the whole thing, even the stalks, are edible. If you look at this one right here, you right. see the teeth are much smaller, but it's just a younger version. But and the older ones are good too. How do you know that these aren't poisonous? I mean, you know because you're an expert, but right. what, what, what Actually, is your gauge? Even, even novice mushroom hunters hunt this one because it's at the safe end of the line. You can arrange all mushroom species on a line and cluster to one end of those species that are virtually impossible to confuse with anything poisonous, and sweet tooth is at that end, versus those at the other end of the line that even the experts can't tell apart. And as long as you stay at the safe end of the line and you gradually work your way out as you gain experience and confidence, that's how you stay out of trouble. And are there other mushrooms in this area? Yeah, in this kind of woods, I often see the sep or the porcini mushroom. Oh, so favorite. maybe we should look at yeah, that. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God, I love seps and porcinis. Oh, there's a beautiful Belitis edulis right there. Look at that. The sep or the porcini mushroom. It's a little one, but it's sometimes that's when they're best because it's before the bugs find them. So what you want to look for is this color cap here, which is like the baked loaf of bread. Yeah, it does look like it. And then uh, you want to get all of this one because the, the stalks are also edible. And here's the big grandpa of this right, other Right, this is step, the same right? thing. It's a Belitis edulis. It's just a much older version with this splayed out cap, which indicates the age of it. And what else you got in this basket of goodies? This is a hen of the woods yeah. or a maitake mushroom. This is actually a little one. They get four or five times this big. This is a nice young tender one, though, so you can use the whole thing. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed that Simply Ming favorite. And as always, peace and good eating. Simply Ming is made possible with support from Contessa, Allclad, Brightling, and Ocean Spray. Watch Simply Ming on your public television station.